Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Chef Pam and this is Chef and More. We are getting ready to make oven fried catfish, guys. Yes, oven fried catfish. It is delicious, guys. But you don't have all that grease, so that's a benefit. Okay, guys, if you want to learn how to make all kind of made-from-scratch food and dishes the easy and simple way, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Tap the bell so you'll always be notified when I upload an awesome, amazing, delicious recipe. Because guess what, guys? I've got a whole channel full of dishes and recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. guys so we are going to be doing oven fried catfish nuggets and here we have them I have them sitting in a little lemon juice I've already cleaned them washed them off and now I have them sitting in some lemon juice okay that's fresh form raised catfish we have and we have some cornmeal this is yellow cornmeal you can't find yellow you can use white and we also have all-purpose flour, panko brick alarms, a little salt, a couple of eggs. Now we have a few more seasonings we'll put in and we'll put those in and mention those as we go along. So guys, the first thing we want to do is get our eggs beaten. To the eggs, we're going to add some milk. Then we're going to set our egg mixture aside. And to our cornmeal, we're going to add the flour, breadcrumbs, just a little bit. I was almost sprinkling this whole sea salt in there. Just a little bit of sea salt in there. going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to season them up really well, guys, really well. Onion powder. Or actually, that was the onion powder, and this is the garlic powder. Some paprika. and some parsley. So make sure this is well blended. Okay guys, we have our prepared tray here. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is spray our tray. This is just a basic olive oil spray. Spray it lightly. Now we're going to get our fish all coated. Make sure they're well coated in each item. Drain your excess off. And I know you typically use one hand for wet and one hand for dry, but today I'm using both hands for both.
we want to do guys is go back in with our same olive oil and lightly spray the tops of the fish. This is what's going to give it that oven fry. We're going to bake these in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. All right guys, so let's go in the oven and we'll be back. Okay guys, we are out of the oven. Look at that, look at that crispy, crunchy, oven fried catfish, guys. Yeah, so if you wanna avoid all the oil and all the grease, that's all you gotta do, guys. It's just as crispy, just as crunchy, and guess what's next? I'm gonna plate this up right quick, and we'll be headed over for our taste test. All right, guys, see you in a minute. And guys, one more thing, before we go in for our taste test, I just wanna break a piece open so you guys can see. Look at that, look at how glistening that is. Look at how well that cooked up. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. You can still see the steam coming out. Isn't that amazing, guys? Yes, and it's crispy, crunchy. Let's see, can you hear that? Listen, okay, can you hear that crunch? Yes, all right, all right, guys. Let's head on over for our taste test. Okay, guys, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Amazing, 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 wonderful, crispy, crunchy, fried catfish in the oven, guys. Can you beat that quick, simple, and easy? Put it in there, turn your timer on. It took approximately 15 minutes in my oven, but you might need to go a little longer or a little shorter because everybody's oven is different. Guys, time for the taste test. Oh my goodness, guys. I have to show you this again. Oh my goodness, have a bite, have a bite, have a bite. Ooh, look at that, guys. Isn't that delicious? Lucky. Yes, I'm just gonna break off me a piece right here. Yes, look at that fish inside of there, guys. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what to say. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys. Oh my God, let me get another piece here. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Dropping my fish. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so glad you all came to hang out with me today in my kitchen. Mmm. Guys, let me tell you something. What you waiting on? If you are not subscribed, subscribe, because you need this. You need to find out how to do this and more, guys. Yes, go ahead, guys, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, ding dong, my door is open. Guys, and anybody that has a subscriber request, I'm always taking those. Now, I'm not gonna promise you I'm gonna do every last single one, because I've had some real weird requests, but you know what, I'll do my best. But you have to make sure you subscribe first, and just leave me a comment on any video, or you can always visit me at cookingwithchefandmore.com and leave me a message for a subscriber request. If you are already subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for the awesome and amazing support. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Watch the video and hit the thumbs up. Come on now. Share me out. Sharing is caring. Everybody would like this awesome recipe, guys. Oh, man. I'm getting ready to go have me lunch. So, I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.